I'm trying to record. It appears as though my cat has a different idea. Hi everybody, it's Brittany, and today I am here with this. Anyways, I will be doing the Disney Mulan Warrior Reflection Palette. I purchased this over the weekend at Hot Topic. This is, was $16.90, which is quite a bit, but uh, I used it when Hot Cash was active, so technically it was half. This is what the inside of the palette looks like. And I have to say that this is, this is beautiful. I do like the colors in here. I feel like we have a side that is more cool toned and then a side that is more warm toned. So you get a nice mixture of the two. As far as shimmers go, I feel like this palette has more shimmers than it does mattes. It has four mattes and the rest are shimmers and this is a 12 pan palette. So doing the math, that means that there's eight shimmers, four mattes. And over here it says, the flower that blooms in adversity is the most rare and beautiful of all, which is a quote from the movie. Let's get into this. All right. With this one, I feel like instead of going this way, I'm going to go up and down just because I feel like each of these sides has their own color story to it. And while you can mix them, I feel like because this side is warms and this side is more on the cooler side, that I will do the warms and cools separate. All right. The first three shades we have here are Family Honor, Guardian Spirit, and Warrior. And looking at Warrior, it does appear to be slightly patchy. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this packing side from an Anastasia brush that comes with a palette, and I'm gonna take that Guardian Spirit, and I'm gonna do a brush swatch. All right. I feel like that it swatches with a brush much better than it does with finger swatching. It appears as though it would blend beautifully, as you can see, around the edges, but it, it does have a little bit of fallout and a little bit of kick up, so keep that in mind. This one is the shade um, Mushu, and uh, I'll just keep moving on. Bloom and Magnolia, which doesn't show up very well. Oh, we're losing some Mushu. I'm having issues because Mushu keeps flaking. Can you see? Like, right off the bat, Mushu is very messy. Um, I'm gonna try and tap my finger in here and swatch it again. Can you see how it is very chunky? And even when you blend it, can you see the mess that it's making? I mean, it looks beautiful on my finger. I just don't know how I would get it from the pan to my eye to look like that. And if you can't see, like, can you see that? Just by swatching it, it is everywhere. And if you can't tell, it's kind of bubbled. You probably can't see it. But, like, it is very much a foiled consistency. It is super soft. Can you see all that? But it is super messy. Like, it's not foiled in a way. Like, I can't just dab it on and get anything. I have to kind of rub it in. That seems to be working a lot better. But even at that, do you see the mess that it's making? And I don't feel like this would stay very well on the eye. You would need more of probably a glitter glue in order for it to stay. I am going to attempt to brush swatch this 
just because I want to see if I could get a better application using a brush. So this is what it looks like on the brush. Okay. I. Yeah, it's still making a huge mess. Moving on to the more cool tone side. I'm... <laughs> I'm going to say this now really quick. The Mushu shade was very messy getting it off my arm. It didn't stain, thankfully, but I had it only on for a few minutes. What did stain, though, was the shade Warrior. All right, so moving on to the other side. I also think that with this side, I'm going to, going to attempt to use the brush that was given with it just because I will use it on... I will do a brush swatch using the Anastasia one, and then I will use this one in the same shade so that way we, you can kind of judge how this works but it's just your typical brush that you know I would probably keep it and use it as more of a lip pencil because the bristle the synthetic plastic bristles they're firm so they're great for using in lipsticks so they clean well last a while they're good for lips that's about it the First shade that I have is Reflection, which is a beautiful, like, white, I would say silver, except that this one is called Great Stone Dragon, and it is a silver. So that one is more of a white for sure. And this one is the shade that I loved the most out of this, and this is the shade Dishonor on Your Cow. I'm going to brush swatch this one and, because I also want to show you really quick when I am done. So this would be that shade using the Anastasia. A little bit patchy. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't blend very well. Let's see if I can use... Yeah, it doesn't translate quite the same, obviously. It is beautiful, though. And then oh, I will use the brush that they gave me. Oh, 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 no, not this again. See what I mean, though? With these brushes, they're very good at precision, so I like these brushes in more of like lipsticks and stuff like that. What I wanted to show you really quick was that the color dishonor on your cow is messy too. It's not that it's a foil shade. I just feel like this one is, it's very soft, which is probably why it swatched very nicely with the finger swatch but it also is very crumbly, so please keep that in mind to be very careful with it. Like, I'll even show you. Let me get this off. If I go in here, this is completely clean now, and I go in here with, like, the fluffy side of a brush, like, if I go in with the fluffy side, you can still see that we've got a lot of, like, kick up going on you can see how it's still crumbling and I am barely putting my brush into it. The next three shades we have are Lucky Cricket, Bravery, and Ancestors. And they look like this. I feel like the shade Bravery isn't, I didn't swatch, it didn't swatch very well at all. These two here are shimmery, and I feel like this one is leaning more towards that foiled look, and it's a lot warmer than it appears in the pan. In the pan, it looks like this. So it has a purple shade to it, so you would think more of a cool tone, but when it's swatched, it appears to be more of a warm tone, and for comparison, I will put Bloom next to it. You might not be able to tell on your end, but this shade here has more of a burgundy tone to it, which in the actual palette, it appears to be more of a purple shade, 
So to pull more on the red side is a little bit confusing to me. That's why I swatched this shade here, Bloom, next to it. So you can kind of see, even with this tail end here, that they are more on the warmer side. This is obviously just more deep. I am going to swatch this one with the brush. All right. Hmm. I feel like it is pulling, well, actually, I accidentally still had blue on it. <laughs> I was gonna say, I feel like it's actually doing the, be, is more cool when you brush swatch it, but I had it. All right, you can see the difference now. So now that I have it on the brush, it appears to be more of a purple shade, at least on camera. In person, it still looks more burgundy to me, more of a red shade but i'm also going to brush swatch bravery just because i feel like it might brush swatch better than it did finger swatching and no i lied <laughs> well maybe a little bit yeah i would say that it's a little bit better but then again i still feel like that teal color has invaded this brush and it won't let go my final thoughts on this palette are that i love the concept I do like the fact that it does have a cool tone side and a warm tone side. I think that that is great. I know that some people prefer more cool tones and some people prefer, per, prefer more warm tones. So having a palette that kind of incorporates them both and has it set up the way that it does where it's like that half and half, I think is a very good concept. Now, this palette isn't necessarily the best quality that I have ever experienced, but it's not bad. There are a few things, a few shades in here that kind of make me go, which is more like the Mushu shade. I don't like that shade at all. I feel like it is so messy, and no matter how I tried to swatch it, whether it be a brush, a finger swatch, kind of patting it in, I could not get it to perform in a way that wasn't very messy, very patchy and wanted to flake off. Now, like I said, it could be that I need a glitter glue. I don't really use, as sad as it sounds, I mean, I, I use a lot of glitter, but I usually use things like shimmers or super shock shadows, so I don't have a glitter glue here, so I can't really test to tell you if it performs better with a glitter glue, but I would assume that it would because it would have more of a tacky, sticky base. And then the other color that kind of I loved, but I hated, we, we're, we're gonna have to have a long talk, is the Dishonor on your cow shade. It performed beautifully in a finger swatch. The shade is gorgeous, but it just doesn't show up the way that I wanted it to. I, I feel like it's buildable. I did add more onto it. I don't think I did it with the packing side of the brush, but here let's do it okay so yeah it it's definitely buildable I feel like this would be a good shade to use in the outer V to kind of deepen up the look that you're going for so I like this I like this palette it's pretty and not only that I mean I wasn't a huge Mulan fan I watched the movie a couple of times more when I was in like latchkey and stuff as a kid. They had always watched these movies in Space Jam. Space Jam was, they always played Space Jam. I still love Space Jam though. Anyways, but I think it's because it had the mixture of cartoon and like live action. Because I really like the movie Who Framed Roger Rabbit too. Because it has people and cartoons. I don't know. As a kid that was so fascinating to me because I didn't understand how it worked. So to me, it was like, cartoons are real. That's how my brain worked. <laughs> then again, I do live in more of a fantasy world. That and The Never Ending Story, which is what this is from. Falcor was awesome. I never understood it. Probably why I'm still scared of sharks because Jaws freaked me out too. Anyways, I'm off topic. Go Moving on with this, or continuing on with this palette, I do feel like this palette is beautiful. I will not be decluttering this one. I do declutter along the way sometimes and when I get really bad palettes or more of the, like, 
it's not really like a lot of the times they'll come out with palettes that they want to it's more for nostalgic purposes or they're more like the packaging would suck you in and I do have some of those that I still have I will keep this one though because I do feel like I would use it I will try to use the color Mushu maybe I'll go out and buy a glitter glue and try to use it again but as of now I probably won't use that one I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you come back for more I love you all you beautiful unicorns Do you like my dragon? My little bitty dragon, little bitty dragon. I always liked the 